In this video, I'll show you how to create this hover effect for your images on your Cargo website. You will be able to apply this effect uh, to multiply images or uh, mix filters so you can get your own design. Let's start with the blank page. Uh, well, Cargo has two ways how to upload files, but um, we will go with the easiest one. Just choose an image and then just drag and drop it. Yeah, like that. Here you can control its size. It's gonna be staying uh, in the middle just because we have uh, this property uh, alignment centered. And uh, let's open our code view. Uh, you will see something like that. This is a way how Cargo define images. And to call it somehow, uh, we need to wrap it into a div tag. Yeah, and after that, uh, let's give it a class name. Class equals, let's call it custom image. Yeah, then press save and go to CSS editor. And here, uh, start typing dot your class name, custom image. And inside these curly braces, you can define uh, all styling you want to apply to this particular element or this class, to be precise. Uh, you will find this link below. This is uh, <clears throat> like a website which shows different filters, so you can switch them and uh, see how they look. And you can combine them and uh, choose what exactly you want. Uh, I'm going to go with grayscale. I'm just going to copy that and paste it here. And now you see that my image uh, is gray. And let's also add uh, invert. Uh, you can place them one after another. And yeah, so you can mix them or combine however you want. And you also can change the values. But yeah, uh, let's keep it like that. Now uh, we can see that uh, our image changed, but how to make it uh, be changed on hover? You just need to start uh, type here hover. And now when I hover over this image, uh, it will be uh, changing exactly as we told it to be. So uh, how to make uh, this effect uh, works in reverse? Uh, let's say I want uh, my default state to be like that, but when I hover over this image, uh, I want it to be uh, like colorful again. Let me copy this phrase, add hover, and instead of filters, let's say none. And now when I hover over my image, um, yeah, I see uh, the version with no filters. But let me show you uh, how it works in uh, a real website. Uh, when I hover uh, over this image, it works correct. But also when I hover this area, it also triggers uh, this effect. So why it happens? Basically, our dig tag uh, takes a whole line, like 100% of our width. And uh, I'll show you how to avoid this issue. Uh, go to CSS editor once again, and here add uh, one more property called uh, width fit content. Yeah, and now uh, when you hover this area, nothing changed. And when you hover an image, um, <clears throat> it works how we want it to be. Uh, and to make it centered once again, let's say margin auto. Yeah, uh, now it's centered if you want it to be centered. So thank you for watching and let me know if you want me to create more videos about images and their customizations for Cargo Collective website and follow my channel to get more tips about code and cargo. Goodbye.